Welcome back, my name is Teresa and I'm very much alive. And if you're new here, welcome. I have an awful garbage mouth where sometimes, yeah, sometimes I tend to say the word fuck as a comma if you're not into that or weird stuff in general. This is not the place for you. Feel free to access the video here, no harm, no foul. But I'll remember our time fondly. If you want to jump straight to the unboxing, I will leave a time code down below. Feel free to jump ahead. I don't know why everybody's out of their minds lately, but let me tell you. So the other day I was walking on my way home from work. Where I live, there's a main road and I have to go down a little ways before I go down a side street or whatever. Basically, let me just give you my address so you can find me. Okay. Anyway, so as I was walking and it's nighttime out, so it's kind of dark, there happens to be someone that's standing in front of me. And I want to say they're probably about like, maybe like 15, 20 feet in front of me. And I could just see them just like just doing this can't really make out who it is I just see them kind of you know just like just doing this and then I just see that like I see this kind of throwing motion and it looks like a small disc that they threw into the middle of the street now the street where I'm walking on is actually pretty busy so there's cars coming in both ways and I, I was like that's kind of really weird like what the hell are you throwing in the middle of the street so I started to kind of walk up a little bit faster because now it piqued my interest <laughs> So I start to go a little bit closer to this person and I realize it's actually a woman. I just hear her muttering like, motherfucking cocksucker, what the fuck, fuck him. And I'm like, ooh, okay, this is getting good. So I see that she is now like wrestling this giant paper bag. So again, she like takes something out and it looks, it looks like a disc. She brings it to her face and then throws it again in the middle of the street. So I walk a little bit closer to her to realize that the bag she's holding happens to be a large brown paper bag. And this time when she takes a disc out, I realize it's a bagel. And what she has been doing is taking the bagel, taking a bite, and then throwing it into oncoming traffic. When I realize the amazingness of what I'm seeing, I let out a small giggle, like a tee hee, because I was like, what the fuck am I looking at? She whips around so goddamn fast and goes, what the fuck are you looking at, huh? Huh? What the fuck are you looking at? And I'm like, nothing, nothing at all, nothing at all. And she was like, yeah, I thought so. And then she, <laughs> She took a bagel, which happened to look like an everything bagel, took a big bite out of it, and fucking chucked it into oncoming traffic. And that's when I thought to myself, you know what? It's time to go across the street. So that's what I did. <laughs> I dodged four lanes of traffic just to get on the other side because I didn't want to be pelted by a pumpernickel. In any case, I'm glad to experience that and I'm thankful that she eventually turned down a block so we stopped walking in the same general direction. But um, I'm not gonna lie, uh, as someone who's fat, I, that actually offends me more than anything because I could easily have taken them home, wrapped them in a damp paper towel, put them in a microwave, and about a minute later, I could have been having a chewy bagel. But fuck me, right? Anyway, that happened. How are you? On today's video, we're going to be doing an unboxing of the Beautylish XL Lucky Bag. And uh, let me tell you straight up that before we get into it, I am gonna say that I have opened this box and it's uh, with good authority because I was contacted by one of my lovely subscribers who was like, hey bitch, I just got this box and it's all kinds of fucked up and uh, did you get the same box? Cause I live in Brooklyn and uh, you probably did and fuck this shit. And I was like, oh no. <laughs> So of course I got my box the same day, I opened it up and it was literally the same contents. And I wanna say that I don't want to comment on uh, the makeup quality or anything like that. Please know that I, I'm not taking any of this for granted. But what I wanna comment on is more of the monetary aspect of this box. And I'm gonna explain to you why I am annoyed by it. So without further ado, let me show you what I got in my motherfucking box. So the first thing I got was from Hourglass and it's the Vanish Flash Highlighting Stick. I had to say that about six, fucking times. And this is in the shade Pure Gold. No, I'm sorry, Gold Flash. Wow, wow. Okay. Anyway, it's this little guy here. It's a cream highlighter. It's definitely like a pale gold shade and it definitely looks good on uncooked chicken. So now don't mind me because I've already swatched something else on the back of my hand. So yay. <laughs> but it's this one though. It's a very pretty highlighter. So you're probably saying, well, what exactly is that? Also, don't mind the nails, don't even, uh, that's another story. The next thing I received is actually from Cover FX. It's actually the Shimmer Veil and I got it in the shade Halo, right? Yep, Halo. And that's what that swatch is, which is very, very pretty. I'm only swatching those two things, everything else I'm not swatching. The next thing is from Benefit and it's the Their Real Mascara. The next thing is from a brand called Unit, which I've actually never heard of. I thought they were travel brushes at first, but I, I think these are just like normal sized brushes and they're pretty much just eye brushes. And at the bottom, it just is named like Unit 1, Unit 2, Unit 3, whatever, it's all the way to five. And you get it in this canvas case. 
The next thing is from Sol de Janeiro and it is the Carnival Glow Duo, which actually is these two guys right here. It looks like it's uh, Ipanema Sunset Glow Oil and the Copacabana Bronze Glow Oil. I feel like I have received this at one point in a boxy lux because it just looks really familiar, but these are glow oils. You know, for all the times I need to look like a fucking fat Twilight Vampire, so that's great. Now this box kind of came janky, which was icing on my shit cake. Now this is from, I never know how to pronounce this brand, Oribe, or Orbi? No, Orbi is the fucking, those little balls, right? Whatever, anyway, this is um, whatever that brand is. And this is the Bomb Dur, which is a heat styling shield. Don't really know what the fuck you do with that. Actually, what do you do with that? Shield your hair from thermal damage, ooh. All right, I, I probably am gonna be gifting this to a friend because I, I don't know what to do with hair stuff. I'm lucky to know what dry shampoo is, all right? The next thing is from Good Molecules and it's the Instant Cleansing Balm, which, I do enjoy because I'm also actually on the Good Molecules PR list. So thank you, Good Molecules, for believing in a garbage person. I really do like your cleansing bomb, so I'm actually happy to have a backup, so that's cool. The next thing is from Ardell, and it's their individual knotted lashes, which look terrifying. I don't, I don't even know how people do that. I don't know, they just look gross. Ugh, all right. Uh, if you enjoy that stuff, that's great. I'm just someone that just doesn't fuck with uh, lashes, so that just looks terrifying. And last but certainly not least, I have the conspiracy palette. Okay. I'm a little confused about this because I initially thought that, or maybe it was my assumption, I assumed because there was a Jeffree Star lucky bag that all and every Jeffree Star product would be in that bag and there probably wouldn't be any crossover with the normal lucky bag. With that being said, if you look at the fine print, it's pretty much anybody that is sold on Beautylish will appear in your bag. So part of me is kind of like, oh man, I already have this. You know, it's a fine palette, I like it, but I don't really need a duplicate of it. So I'm, I'm gonna have to like give this away. I kind of wish that there was a palette that I didn't get, but again, that's kind of like the trap with these lucky bags or mystery boxes or whatever. If you have a large sizable collection, good chances are you're gonna be getting duplicates of something. So that's something that you have to prepare for and it's nobody's fault but your own. You know what I mean? So now here's my issue. I'm not even gonna speak about the quality of some of these products or whatever. I wanna talk about the pure value of it. When I added everything up, it comes out to $296. Now, if we look at the posting for the lucky bags, especially the XL lucky bags, you're supposed to be getting products worth $300 plus. So essentially, at the bare minimum, you get $300 worth. Now I know you're probably saying, Teresa, shut the fuck up, it's $4. It's not the point. The point is, if you're gonna advertise something for $300, you best fucking believe it better be $300, bitch, all right? Straight up, because that is so fucking infuriating if you're thinking that you're gonna be getting $300 worth of product, and in reality, you're only getting $296. Are you fucking kidding me? No. So I went on a fucking tirade. I started watching a bunch of other unboxing videos of XL bags to see, you know, am I the only one that got fucked here? And yes, okay, so anyone that has received this box, it is completely undervalued of what it should be, because there are some boxes out there that is worth $462, $376, $340, one was $317. Everything was over at least 300. So with that said, I was like, fucking annoyed because I don't like when somebody lies to me or I purchase something under false advertisement. Now what I will say, I was ready to come out here fucking guns blazing because I was so fucking annoyed, but I decided, you know what? I like Beautylish. Beautylish has been nothing but kind to me. Let me email them and say, Bitch, what the fuck happened? I emailed them in my calm demeanor, like, Hi, I hope this email finds you well. And I basically said, like, hey, you know, I received this lucky bag. I am I was super excited about it, but I was ultimately bummed out because when I added up the value of it, it's actually less than what is advertised. What I will say is that Beautylish did come through and they first were like, oh my God, I'm super sorry. Can you send us a picture of what you received in your bag? I said, absolutely. I sent them a picture and I even commented saying like, hey, by the way, I have seen several videos already and a lot of them have the value of over $300. So I'm a little confused on why this one is a little bit less. The representative contacted me again and was like, oh, hey, by the way, super sorry about this, but you were actually supposed to receive this item, which is like a face set. And uh, we're gonna be sending out to you immediately, no extra charge, like really, really do apologize. So I was like, okay, really cool. Here's the only thing about that. The subscriber that actually reached out to me, who's from Brooklyn, received all the same items that I received with the exception that she didn't receive the conspiracy palette because it was actually actually left out of her box. She definitely got screwed way more than I fucking did. Now, with that said, I look at the picture of her box and it was the same small brush set. So, which kind of made me think like, huh, 
Was the large face brush is supposed to be there the whole time? Or was that like your really quick fix solution to just bring this box up to value? You know what I'm saying? So here, here's what I wanna say, is that if you have, and I think this is really only gonna pertain to the East Coast people, because I think we're the last ones to get this box. And so maybe all the boxes from the East Coast are actually resembling this box, or at least a variation of this box. With that said, if you have received this box, please calculate the value of it because you might be under. In that case, you need to contact people Beautylish to make sure you get your motherfucking money's worth. So while I do commend Beautylish for going above and beyond and actually fulfilling the requirement of this box, like I really do appreciate that because they didn't have to, right? They they literally could have told me to go fuck myself or literally not message me back at all. So I am so thankful that Beautylish did that. But if I want to put my tinfoil hat on, I really fucking wonder if this was a little bit of more of a major fuck up considering that we both received this small brush set when we should have received the large one. In theory, is that really the case? or this was more of a quick fix solution. So with that said, this is gonna be the, my last purchase of a Lucky Bag, and it's really because of my collection. Of course, I took the chance of running into the fact that I would receive duplicate items, and sure as hell I did, and so be it. And of course, there are some items that really don't interest me that I'm, I really don't have a need for, so I'm definitely gonna be giving it to friends. And more of the story, when I look at it, there's only really maybe like two things I'm probably gonna keep, and everything else I'm gonna like send to a good home. But with that said, I'm not gonna be purchasing a Lucky Bag again because it's just, it's really a waste of money for me when I could have actually taken that money and purchased something that I wanted. So shame on me, right? Anyway, let me know down below if you have received your bag. And if so, let me know what you got. And if you did receive the same bag as me, please make sure you add up the contents of it because if it is under 300, you have every damn motherfucking right to get your money's worth, bitch. So please make sure you do that. And with that said, I wanna say thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it as always. Feel free to like, comment, hit that subscribe button, it's free. And hit that bell icon for notification of all my future posts. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, Discord, Patreon. Every other Thursday we have a podcast called The Miserable Three. And sometime I'm on my husband's Twitch channel where I just yell about stuff on the internet. If you're interested in any of those items, everything will be listed down in the description box below. I'll see you little pumpkins later. Bye.